Hey there guys and welcome back to Broken Sword 2 The Smoking Mirror For those of you who have not seen the end of my last episode, why are you doing watching this one? But I'll catch you up um, here with George in museum and it's pretty obvious I need to get this little girl's uh, cross The desk had... Sorry so what I need to do now is leave the museum. After all our efforts, get in. I gotta leave. Now then, what I originally did was take, talk, go down to Tortoria, and I mentioned the quill. Um, because you you ask him what to give a small talkative girl to get for the cross and I showed him this and he said it was too big after lots of being lost I did this the cat made short work of the feather tearing it into a blizzard of small pieces and luckily the little blue circles that pop up on items helped me find a small feather and then we go talk to Rio. So that's just what I'll do. Hey, Rio. There was nothing else on the bollocks. I've had a feeling that would happen. I'm trying to talk to Rio, dude. What do you give to a small, irritating girl who asks about everything? Try a conch. Delicate colors, interesting shape, and when you put it to your ear, you can hear the sea. Yeah? Why is that? Usually because you're standing next to it. Cool. Have you got one? Yeah, but I promise it to my sister. She well vexed with me. Yeah, whatever. I couldn't okay. see why Rio would want... Fine. Why is your sister mad with you? Well, last night, when I got home with our supper, she went wild. Rio, she said, how come all you ever catch is puffer fish? A sick of puffer fish. What I want is tiger fish. So don't bother come back home till you catch one, boy. I don't see how I'm going to catch no tiger fish. All I have is a fishing pole and a worm. What do you need to catch a tiger fish? One of them real fancy flies like the rich fishermen use. That's what hey, you mean. This is just what you need to make a fly. Thanks. Let's hope them tiger fish hungry. A deal's a deal. Here's a conch. And then we go give the conch to Emily. Emily? Emily. 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 In fact, I'm going to teleport there. Like this. Hey, Emily. Why don't you run along and play? Aunt Mina told me. Stay out of mischief. Well, that doesn't mean you have to stay indoors, does it? On a beautiful day like today? There's a storm coming. Oh, nuts. You don't know that. I do so. I can see the whole world from the window. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm busy. Would you like a conch, Emily? Here, I've got a conch. Would you like it? Dunno. Aunt Frost told me never to take presents from strange men. I'm not a strange man. Then why are you called Jaws, Jaws? That's a stupid name. I'm not called... Look, conch. Pretty. Swap for the cross, yes or no? Mm. Right, this thing's going out the window. Okay, we'll do swapsies. My plan is almost completed. 
because now I take out the crosser and I put it in the pen holder just there Ketch's cross slipped snugly into the pen holder what you doing Jaws? I've put your cross in this little hole in the desk why? impulse mainly with a dash of irrational intuition silly only women have intuition the lantern cast a strong light over the desktop the light cast a shadow of the cross Most and the, the shadow weird. fell precisely Sorry. over a small unnamed island shaped like a skull most of the weird way that Emily turned around and by the way like graphics missing or something that must be it catches treasure island uh-oh that zombie island it's a bad place no kidding well bad place or not that's my next port of call can I come too? the hell you can I never get to leave the house Oh, that sucks. So it was on balance Eve. If only I knew someone with a boat. Uh, I do. It's called Rio. So then, would we go? And crosswoods we go. There we go. There is you. Would you take me to uh Zombie Island? In this weather? You madman! The rain will keep the zombies indoors. Totally reason. Oh, awesome Just idea. say I did meet a zombie. What would you do? There ain't no zombies on Zombie Island. At least, not anymore. It's uninhabited. Good. What do you mean, not anymore? You still want to go? I guess. Well, I ain't had no luck with them tiger fish. And with the mood my sister is in, I'll be safer with the zombies. Okay, that volume shot up a bit. So, this was Zombie Island. Somehow I'd been expecting something more sinister. Come on, Rio. Let's find that treasure. No, thanks. I'm staying right here. Oh, come on. You said yourself there's no zombies left. Yeah, but that was while there was a big pile of seawater between me and this place. All me have now is this little bit between the boat and the shore, and I'm hanging on to it. Pile? No. It can't be. But it was. My lucky piece of coal. Rio, how far away is Ketch's Landing from here? Best part of ten miles. Why? Ten miles? That catapult must have been a hmm. lot more powerful than I thought. Yeah, I got my coal back. Rio's boat was strewn with fishing nets and tackle. So, I suppose that she climbs cliff. Easy the cliff was right. steep. Too steep to climb without handholds. And I couldn't find any. 
What about this rock? Out oh, crap. It was too high. I couldn't get up there. You're real. Help me at all. Oh. That know. Emily sure asks a lot of off. questions. Resic man, this whole Emily business just isn't funny. Look, we're obviously at cross purposes here. I'm talking about Emily Ketch. Yeah. And so am I. He was my friend. Her aunts hated it, but we did move together, you know. She used to be real keen at hide and seek. It could take hours to find her. One time, the last time, it took days. She must have shouted and screamed herself hoarse, but there was nobody to hear her. Where'd she hidden herself? Captain Ketch's old sea chest. The only way to open it was from the outside. Suddenly... I didn't feel so good. We never exchanged another word about Emily Ketch. Wait, what? So she was a ghost? Is that why she turned like that? That's weird if that's true. Could I borrow your net? Yeah, man, no problem. Yeah, we got a net. You planning on catching some fish? Nope. I'm after a big rock. And take the net and put it on the... Where are you? Cliff? Oh, not. Ball sack. On the rock outcropping. Where's the thing? There we go. This is how we do it. Well, here I go. Wish me luck, Rio. Good luck, George. Watch out for the walking dead. Meanwhile... Back in London. I stumbled down dark stairwells for what seemed like forever, until suddenly I found myself... Wow! In an abandoned London underground station. This place must have been closed down decades ago. Well, this, uh... Is as far as I got in terms of what for so a little shot this time, but I'll leave it here. The Easter egg thing um, that is that shows. Oh, let me start that sentence here. The Easter egg that I mentioned at the start of episode ten is in this bit, so I'll do that at the start of the next episode, which will be episode twelve of this. Like I said, at the start of episode ten, it won't really make sense to anyone. Who hasn't seen any of my Beneath a Steel Sky videos? Um, as of right now, at recording this noisy train, I've done three parts of that. By the time I release this onto my channel, there may well be four. So check any of them out if it makes no sense. I will point it out. It's uh, just off to the side here. But, anyway, in regards to this video, thank you very much for watching. Um, obviously, by this point, I've watched the whole video. Not many people do that on my videos, so you're part of a very rare and awesome group, as far as I'm concerned. Please leave a like. I absolutely love it. And, um, subscribe if you want to. I'd love you forever more for it as well. Regardless of what you do, have a brilliant day or night, depending on when you're watching this. And no matter what life throws at you, never surrender. Goodbye, guys. Till next time. Peace out.